Have you ever felt lost in the digital crowd, navigating through a sea of information, yet still feeling adrift? In a world filled with advancements and instant connections, why do so many of us feel isolated and overwhelmed? Today, we're going to uncover how the ancient Stoics found clarity and purpose amidst chaos, and how their teachings might be the compass we need in the information age. But before we dive into this journey, we want to hear from you. Has there ever been a time when a Stoic principle helped you find direction or comfort? Share your story in the comments below, and let's together build a community of support and continuous learning. The importance of ignoring others' opinions. Have you ever stopped to consider how much the approval of others influences your decisions and the way you are? We live in a world where we constantly seek the validation of others, be it on social media, at work, or even within our own families. But have you ever questioned the real value of these approvals? Do they define who we are or our worth? This is where a transformative perspective comes in, inspired by the ancient teachings of Stoicism, which invites us on a journey of self-discovery and liberation. Imagine a path where your internal compass is the only guide, where the judgment of others loses its strength and ceases to determine your choices. The philosopher emperor Marcus Aurelius, one of the most resonant voices of Stoicism, reminds us of a power that resides in each of us. If you find yourself without the praise of others, then be the first to praise yourself. Why not start applying this maxim today? This relentless pursuit of external recognition is a true trap, imprisoning our authenticity and stealing our peace of mind. But why do we let this happen? The answer might be simpler and at the same time, more complex than we think. We have been conditioned to believe that the value of our actions and ourselves is tied to the acceptance and approval of others. However, True freedom arises when we break these invisible chains. By learning to live according to our own values and principles, without depending on others' validation, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. But how do we take the first step in this direction? The key lies in recognizing the power of self-approval and self-knowledge. Start by questioning your own beliefs. Do they really reflect who you are and what you value? Or are they reflections of others' expectations? Now think about what your life would be like if you consciously decided not to allow the opinions of others to shape your actions or determine your value. Imagine making decisions based on your own judgment, your convictions. Doesn't that sound like a more authentic and free way to live? Honesty with yourself and others. Have you ever realized the powerful impact that honesty has on your life and the relationships you nurture? Often, we underestimate the value of being true to ourselves and others, as if honesty were just another quality among many. But what if I told you that being honest goes far beyond a matter of integrity? How about diving deeper into this idea? Being honest is not just a demonstration of fairness. It's a way to simplify existence, to make it lighter and more genuine. When we align our actions and words with our internal values, we create a deep harmony that permeates every aspect of our life. Seneca, one of the most celebrated Stoic thinkers, emphasized the importance of this practice by stating, to be honest in all things is not only wise and just, but also comforting. Do you see how honesty can be a refuge, a safe harbor amid the storms of life? By adopting honesty as a life principle, we promote a clarity of purpose that guides us. Imagine how transformative it would be to face each day knowing exactly who you are and what you value and acting in accordance with that understanding. This transparency with yourself and others builds a bridge of trust, a fundamental link for solid and meaningful relationships. 
But what does it really mean to be honest? Is it just about not telling lies? Honesty goes much beyond that. It involves shedding masks, facing our vulnerabilities, acknowledging our mistakes, and most importantly, acting in a manner consistent with our deepest principles. This requires courage, but it also offers invaluable rewards. Not taking things personally, Imagine this, you're in the middle of your day when suddenly, out of nowhere, someone drops one of those statements that make you boil on the inside. Who hasn't been there, right? That moment when you feel an almost uncontrollable urge to snap back, to prove you're right. But what if I tell you there's a way, a perspective on these situations that can not only save you from unnecessary stress, but also transform you into a more serene and understanding person. Well, my friends, we're talking about a small yet powerful change in perspective inspired by Stoicism, a philosophy that has a lot to teach us about the art of not taking things personally. Imagine we're in a scenario where the words and actions of others are like arrows shot in our direction. The instinctive reaction, shield up, counterattack ready, but the Stoics, with their ancient wisdom, suggest something revolutionary. Lower the shield and understand that each arrow shot at us is actually launched from the bow of the other's internal struggles. Yes, you heard that right. Epictetus, one of these wise men from antiquity, advises us to realize that when someone harms us, that person acts or speaks from their own impression, their own world of experiences and internal battles. Now, let's be honest, doesn't that sound a bit counterintuitive? After all, how do you not take it personally when the comment or action seems so directed at us? The key, my dear listeners, lies in developing two essential skills for our emotional health, empathy and resilience. By exercising empathy, we try to see the world through the eyes of the other, understanding that their actions and words are reflections of their own journey, their fears, insecurities and challenges. If you're enjoying our content, I invite you to leave your opinion on what you'd like to hear in our upcoming videos. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe to help bring our content to more good and focused people like you. Cultivating patience. Patience. This virtue is so often spoken of, yet so challenging to practice in everyday life, isn't it? In a world where everything seems to demand urgency, where rush and immediacy dominate, the idea of cultivating patience might seem almost like a contradiction. But what if I tell you that there's a way to see patience not as passive waiting, but as a powerful tool for personal transformation? Yes, we're diving back into the wisdom of Stoicism to uncover the secrets of a patience that is, in fact, a form of art. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most distinguished Roman emperors and Stoic philosophers, leaves us a message that resonates through the centuries. Acquire the art of being patient, of truly being present in each moment. Take a moment and reflect on this idea, being present in each moment. This is not just waiting for things to happen, but rather living fully in the now, with all its challenges, pains and joys. The true stoic patience is an active engagement with the present. But what does this mean in practice? It means embracing each moment of life, accepting circumstances as they are, not as we wish they were. It means facing challenges, not as misfortunes, but as precious opportunities for growth and learning. Every obstacle, every delay, every setback can be seen under a different light. A light that illuminates paths to strengthen our resilience, our understanding, and of course, our patience. But make no mistake, cultivating such patience is not an easy task. It requires practice, dedication, and above all, a profound change in perspective. How to face life's challenges with serenity and determination. We start by taking a deep breath, 
by reminding ourselves that we have the power to choose our response to life's events. We can choose the path of irritation and frustration, or we can choose the path of patience, acceptance and serenity. And here, my listeners, lies the beauty of Stoic patience. It teaches us to see beyond appearances, to understand that every moment of life, whether it is filled with joy or adversity, is a piece in the mosaic of our existence. Every obstacle is a chance to practice patience, to truly be present, and to, little by little, transform our way of viewing the world. Being an example through actions, being an example through actions goes far beyond the mere fulfillment of duties or adherence to a set of ethical rules. It's about embodying the values we cherish in every gesture, word, and choice we make, turning the ideal into tangible reality. Let your actions speak, advised the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, echoing the idea that actions can communicate much more profoundly than words. When we live in accordance with our values, be it integrity, kindness, compassion, or resilience, we not only strengthen our character and well-being, but also light the way for others. This beacon of behavior is not a loud cry for attention. It's a silent invitation, a subtle suggestion for those around us to reflect on their own lives and consider the impact of their actions. Consider the power of integrity. By choosing to be honest and fair, even when no one is watching, you set a standard of conduct that inspires trust and respect. This not only benefits your personal and professional relationships, but also encourages others to act with the same honesty. Kindness, in turn, has the power to transform someone's day with a simple act of consideration a word of support, a gesture of selfless help, attention to the needs of others. These are the ways in which kindness manifests and multiplies. When practiced openly, it encourages others to share this gift of compassion, creating a chain of kindness that can reach far beyond our immediate circle. And what about resilience? In the face of challenges and adversity, the way we stand firm, learn from experiences, and move forward serves as a powerful example of strength and determination. Showing resilience not only helps us overcome obstacles, but also offers hope and motivation to others who may be struggling. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the opportunity. Purchase the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. Isolation from external negativities. Amid the noise and storms of life, we all seek a safe harbor, a place of calm where the waves of criticism and negativity cannot reach us. Imagine for a moment that you have armor, not one of those heavy metallic ones, but one made of inner peace and serenity. This armor protects you, not because it prevents negative words and actions from reaching you, but because it gives you the strength not to let them affect you. The ancient masters of Stoicism, like Marcus Aurelius, taught us a powerful lesson that withstands the test of time. You have power over your mind, not external events. In other words, while we can't control what happens around us, we have total dominion over how we choose to react to these situations. It's a liberating idea, knowing that in the midst of chaos, calm can be a choice. Maintaining inner peace in the face of adversity is like learning to dance in the rain instead of waiting for the storm to pass. Life will always throw challenges our way. Some people will criticize us and things won't always happen as we plan. But if we focus on cultivating our inner strength, those external negativities become like waves crashing against a solid rock. They may make noise, but they can't move the rock from its place. The secret lies in differentiating between what is within our power to change and what is beyond our control. Worrying about what we cannot change is like trying to teach a fish to fly. 
It's a futile effort that only wears us out. When we direct our energy towards our own reaction and attitude, we become masters of ourselves. And by mastering the art of maintaining internal calm, we isolate external negativities, not allowing them to disturb our peace. This path is not easy. It requires practice, patience, and above all, compassion for ourselves. We will stumble from time to time, letting a harsh word or a disapproving look penetrate our armor. But each time this happens, we have the chance to learn, to strengthen our armor, making it even more resilient. Stoic love and action. In a world that sometimes seems to revolve around chaos and indifference, the idea of incorporating stoic love and action into our daily lives emerges as a beacon of hope and direction. The Stoics, with their timeless wisdom, teach us that love transcends mere emotion or pretty words. For them, to love means to roll up your sleeves and act with the goal of making a positive difference in someone's life. Imagine that instead of just saying, I love you, or I'm here for you, you showed these words through concrete actions, whether it's preparing a meal for a friend going through a tough time, offering your time to listen to someone who needs to vent, or simply being present in a genuine and attentive way. These actions, though simple, are powerful manifestations of Stoic love. Seneca, one of the great names of Stoicism, believed that love is the ultimate expression of human wisdom. It's the deliberate effort to promote the well-being of others, even when it requires personal sacrifice. This love is not passive. It is active and engaged. It challenges us to look beyond our own needs and desires, inviting us to contribute to the greater good. Adopting a stoic approach to love also means understanding that we have no control over the actions or feelings of others, but we can control how we choose to express our love and compassion. It's recognizing that even in the most adverse circumstances, we have the capacity to offer kindness and support. Practice of forgiveness. The practice of forgiveness is more than just a way to maintain relationships. It is a profound act of compassion and mutual understanding that touches us at the core of our humanity. We all make mistakes at some point. To err is part of the human condition, but acknowledging these mistakes and choosing to forgive those who have hurt us is a powerful step towards healing and rebuilding bridges that seemed broken. Forgiving does not mean forgetting what happened or ignoring the pain we feel. On the contrary, forgiving is acknowledging that pain, feeling compassion for ourselves and others, and then choosing to let go of the weight of resentment. This act of letting go is liberating. As Stoic principles teach us, by forgiving, we are not only releasing the other from guilt, we are freeing ourselves from the emotional burden that ties us to the past and hinders our growth. When we forgive, we open space in our hearts and minds for more positive and constructive experiences. Forgiving is a gift we give to ourselves, a sign of inner strength and emotional maturity. By choosing to forgive, we are choosing love and compassion over hate and resentment. We are deciding that our emotional well-being and our relationships are more important than holding on to a grudge. This journey to forgiveness can be challenging, but it is also deeply rewarding. It teaches us about the transient nature of life and the importance of valuing the relationships we have. Each act of forgiveness is a step towards a more empathetic and connected world, where understanding and compassion are the foundation of all relationships. Valuing personal relationships, valuing personal relationships is an art that we all must learn to cultivate with care and dedication. In a world that is increasingly fast-paced and digitally connected, it's easy to lose sight of the importance of real human connections. Meaningful relationships with our loved ones are like treasures that we must protect and nurture, for they are what truly give meaning to our existence. 
The brevity of life is a constant reminder that every moment shared with friends and family is precious. These moments, whether simple or grand, build the tapestry of our lives, filling it with colors, love, and joy. Therefore, it's crucial to prioritize the time we spend with those we love, creating memories that will be cherished forever. I encourage you to take a pause, reflect on the relationships you have, and ask yourself, am I truly valuing these relationships as they deserve? Often we are so caught up in our daily responsibilities that we forget to express gratitude and appreciation to the people who support us and love us unconditionally. Nurturing these relationships means being present, both physically and emotionally. It means listening attentively, offering support in difficult times, and celebrating achievements together. It's important to remember that small gestures, like a hug, a text message, or a simple, I love you, can have a significant impact on strengthening emotional bonds. By valuing and prioritizing our personal relationships, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to building a more loving and united community. After all, it is human relationships that provide us with comfort, happiness, and a sense of belonging in this world. As we part ways today, I take with me a question. Which of the Stoic principles discussed are you ready to integrate into your journey from now on? Don't put this reflection off for later. Choose one principle, no matter how small, and put it into practice today. And when you do, share your experience with us in the comments.